Good morning. It's time for your daily chunks. <clears throat> I'm Chunks of Earth, and I'll be your host. Surprised? I didn't think so. Well, as you can see, the title of this video, <clears throat> you don't really have to worry about buying from China as much because they're buying you. I ran across this story this morning by one of the green sites that I follow on Facebook and this one is called um, Rational Middle Energy Series and I'll post a link to it and the title of this posting was the White House just blocked the sale of a wind farm in America to a Chinese company citing national security concerns if energy security is our goal was this the right move now I'll include the link to the actual story so let me give you an overview this happened on September 28th in the afternoon President Obama invoked the little used law today to block a Chinese company from buying four wind farms in northern Oregon drawing criticism and threatened legal action the president cited national security concerns because the wind farms are located near a Navy base where the US flies unmanned drones and electronic warfare planes on training missions. Later on, it states that the Rawls Corporation uh, is going to file a lawsuit against us because it feels that it was selectively and arbitrarily singled out and they're going to be vindicated with the rights under the law and constitution and they're going to pursue it in law. Now it says here that's the first time in 22 years that a president has blocked such a foreign transaction and um, there's other crap in there. Now the last time this was happened this happened was 1990 when President George H. W. Bush via, voided the sale of Mamco manufacturing to a Chinese agency. All right, on the posting I wrote what little I know about our relationship to China is this we borrowed trillions of dollars to fight in the Middle East we continually import cheaply made toxic materials from them in the form of drywall and toys we have partnered with them in Detroit and they will soon be selling Chinese cars in the US we hear all the time from our politicians that we need to balance our debt with China but we do nothing to implement this position we hear primarily from the GOP that sustainable energy like wind, solar, tide, etc. is not feasible and we must continue to destroy the planet in search of more carbon-based fuels. The Chinese have already started buying real estate here and in Canada when the housing bubble burst. We heard nothing about that. Now they want to purchase our only hope for being energy independent so we will somewhere down the line be dependent on another issue with them. I'm extremely uncomfortable with the USA allowing anything having to do with our infrastructure or our future being controlled by a non-US entity much less a potential enemy when they call in their chips to pay our ridiculous debt to them I know this was long-winded to get a yes but I want to explain now the reason I come to these conclusions well, we all know that we borrowed money from China to attack Afghanistan Iraq and others um, we owe them trillions that's part of our debt is three wars that were not paid for started by the previous administration so that's a trillions in debt to China and we're, char we're being charged a ton of interest and we're making no effort to to, re to inform the public on a national scale how we can reduce our debt to China by stop buying their stuff and stop supporting them we need to create jobs in this country we need to support our own people and people like Walmart just keep shipping more stuff from China you know, and, and others it's not just them uh, why are the Chinese buying a wind farm if it's unsustainable or not feasible according to the GOP why would you invest in green technology if you're gonna lose money in it doesn't sound very business smart does it hmm maybe that's something we should investigate further now I read a, an article recently from I think it was 
Car and Driver or Auto Trend about Chinese have uh, made a deal with Detroit that we're going to be selling Chinese cars here in the USA. Cheaply made, poorly designed Chinese cars. So we're, we're not trying to pay our debt to China. We, we keep getting further and further in debt. And you know, President Obama is just as much to blame as anybody else because these policies are continued and it's not brought to our attention. And what can we do about it? I've heard many times, oh, you can't, everything's made in China, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, how are you going to fix a problem if you've already decided that there's nothing you can do about it? Uh, those people upset me. Um, so think, why would they buy a wind farm? And Chinese have invested a great deal in green energy in their own country. I know they have a lot of other issues, but they've been aggressive. And I showed a documentary in my blog TV how they're building uh, green buildings, the first LEED certified passive solar green skyscraper. It can be done. It can be done. They're doing it. The real estate issue. When in 2005, when the 2008, I think it was, last I heard of it, it was 2000, yeah, about 2008, they were shipping in people from China, Japan, Indonesia to buy real estate in California and other places because the property values have gotten down so low that it was a good investment for them. So we're not even encouraging our own people to buy anything. We're allowing foreign interests to come here and invest in our real estate, which how is that going to affect our government later on, our policies and our representation? And this is this is not not good in my opinion. It, it is a, a very it ignores the needs of the citizens while addressing the needs of greed. That's what it, that's really what it boils down to. And I know people have been to Canada and said that shopping malls and a lot of stores and shops and strip malls and stuff were owned by Chinese people. There's a, there's a heavy Asian influence in Canada that came in the last 20 years or so. So it's it's not just it's concerning, very concerning. And last, I want to talk about with with the Chinese owning anything that has to do with our infrastructure. Uh, what happens when we need them and they just to say, you know, sorry, we're shutting it down. Uh, we no longer want to do business with you, or they hold that power over us in order to manipulate us into doing their bidding. I, I don't think this is a good idea at all, and I think more people need to be aware of it. And that's my thought for the day. I'd like to hear your thoughts. I'm Chunks of Earth, and so are you.